Okay, so welcome back to another Bidwig tutorial and in this one we need to talk about overdubbing. Now the other day a subscriber asked about this and I couldn't answer it because I was on my vacation uh, with COVID. Hmm. So well, you know, now I'm back. So okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do overdubbing. It's pretty simple, but uh, it's gonna it's gonna weird because you have two ways. You have the arranger section and the clip section, and they taste, they just work on different ways. So okay, so first we're gonna take care of the clip. You know, just recording and overdubbing on the clip, and then we're gonna talk about uh, the features you get on the arranger, which is this section. For now, I'm gonna go here. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here to the clip view, and I'm gonna launch this scene, and this is what I've got. It's a dumb, drum, dumb, uh, you know, track. Just, yeah, a drum track. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to record something right here. I have, uh, you know, uh, an AK fire, kind of a, you know, it's a great, great thing. Some pads, some tiny pads. And I'm gonna, uh, I want to record something. So the first thing that you want to do is just to arm your track, right? That's the first thing you want to do. So the thing is that, of course, uh, you want to click this button in order to start recording and you need to make sure that everything is at the beginning. If not, you know, it's just going to start on a random spot. So as soon as I click it, notice that it's giving me the one, two, three, four count. Now, this is something that you need to configure. Now, if you go to the play button right here at the top, you're going to go right here and it says pre-roll. Well, that's the pre-roll. You know, it's going to count one, two, three, four, you know, one bar. If uh, if, if pre-roll is enabled, if I do none and I record, it's just going to start recording right away, which is maybe not ideal. Okay, so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go to right here and do the uh, roll. And if the metronome is not enabled right here, you can just toggle in, toggle, you know, the metronome on and you can change the volume right here. Okay, now, of course, now I'm going to go. And I'm going to record something is going to count one, two, three, four, and then we're going to start. Now, make sure that everything is at the beginning. Okay. So, of course, I want to record just four of this, right? I don't want to, I don't want to record more. I don't want to just, just record four bars. Now the thing is by default, this is just gonna keep going, right? It's just gonna keep going. It's one, two bars, three bars, four bars, and then it's just gonna keep recording. And this is the default behavior. You're just gonna keep recording until you stop or you know, you, you just, just stop playing or you just stop the transport. Now, if this is uh, you know, if this, this is okay, actually, this is how it works. Now, what you could do, you can go right here, manually delete the uh, extra notes and make it four bars, or you can go right here and select the clip and notice that it says the length right here. You can go and say, dude, this is four bars. And by default, it's gonna make it four bars and it's gonna, you know, just play back whatever it is that you play. And these notes are just gonna be, you know, not gonna be played now, if you want can go and kaboom you can delete them okay so now the thing is that i want to start over and i want to record something now the way that you do i want to record something on top of this i want to overdub now right here at the top you have the options and if you don't have them it's because you need to enable them right here notice that you have it right here so uh you have two overdubs you have the overdub this one and you have this overdub and this one are just for different things. This one is for the arranger, which is this section. And this one is for the clip, which is this section. And they are just different, right? They're just for different things. Now, if you don't have them right here on the panel is because you don't have them pinned. So you can go and pin that there. Same as this overdub. Now, of course, now how, how do we overdub? So. What I need to do, I just need to click on this button and whenever I do play and I play something on my keyboard, it's going to start recording it. Now, of course, I'm going to do play. It's going to go one round. And as soon as the, the, the next one starts, I'm just going to start recording some other notes. That's the idea. Right? And notice that it's recording right here. And it's not deleting the previous one. It's not ideal. What we want to do is record a little bit more. Let's record something else. Wow. 
part so now we have you know we make kind of a three takes with the different things so let's just record something on the top there you go of course not the best you know recording ever but this is how you overdub you need to make sure that you have this enabled if not it's just just not going to work you're not going to be able to overdub so okay so now what you can do you can go and drag and drop this uh, right here on the arranger whenever you're ready on the on this one and you want to make the recording or you want to make your track this is just going to go and be you know be played right here and that's fine but that's not what we want to do. What I want to do now is explain how you can do this, the same thing with it right here on the arranger, on this view. And it works on a different way. That's why, you know, it's just a little bit weird. So uh, what we want to do is we want to record the same thing, but I want to do it uh, on this, on the first four bars. So first I'm going to go and just select the loop for the four bars and I'm going to select the loop, right? That's what I want to do. Now, the second thing is that you want to do arm, you want to arm this one. So I'm going to go right here at the top and I'm going to select the recording. And as soon as I do play, it's going to count and it's going to start recording. And what I want to do, I want to do the same thing I did on the clip, on the, uh, on the clip view, right? I just want to over the, over the things. So I'm going to go start playing. Okay, so I stopped and notice that of course it's going to loop because we have the loop enabled, but it's just deleting everything we I had from before, everything I did on the first take. So what the F? So this is because, again, you need to enable the overdub on the arranger. It's not going to do it by default. The default behavior is that the, if the loop starts again, uh, you're going to need to record everything again and it's going to wipe whatever you had from, from before. That's, uh, you know, that's, that's it. So, of course, I'm going to go and start over. And this time, I'm going to make sure that I have this one enabled, this one in red. This one means overdub, and it does the same thing than this one, but on the arranger view. So I'm going to go stop everything, go back to the beginning. I'm going to arm the track. This track is armed. And as soon as we do play, is one, two, three, four. And notice is going is doing the looping and it's just not deleting it again so i can go and it overdub again just like we did before Everything works, right? Everything works like a, like expected. Now let's uh, do the dumb lead. All right. So now we are, uh, we were able to achieve the same thing with it right here, but right here on the arranger. And notice that the the kind of the workflow it's just the same thing. But it's just a little bit different, right? Just a little bit different. Now, if you check the, if you take a look at the clip, notice that everything is kind of a uh, spun on, you know, it's just everything starts on the right place and everything is just like very snapped to uh, the grid. Everything is kind of a perfect. And this is because I have enabled uh, an option right here that is going to be the, the, the launch uh, quantization. So uh, this one is going to, oh, sorry, record quantization. Is going to kind of uh, adjust everything that you play and quantize everything, which means that if you are doing some kind of a sloppy playing, uh, it will just adjust it to the grid, so it can you know kind of a uh, simulate that you're not playing like crap. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and do the same thing right here, and I'm gonna demonstrate that you, we can do uh, you know play like crap. I'm gonna go and turn it off, right? Just gonna turn it off. And now the loop is right here, so I'm gonna go put the cursor right here. And I'm going to do some recording and I'm going to, going to kind of pretty much do the same thing. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but, you know, I'm just going to show you.
Okay. So if I take a look at the MIDI, notice that everything is just a little bit offset, which is sometimes it's not that bad. It's, you know, it's just a bit more human. But, you know, if you don't want to, if you want to keep everything kind of a super consistent, uh, you will need to enable this when you record. Uh, when you record. Now, another thing that you can do if, uh, you know, maybe you forgot to do it and you don't want to record all of, the, uh, all of this again, what you can do is select the clip and when you make a right click, you're going to see a quantize option right here. So if you go to quantize, it's just going to do the quantize for you. Or if you go to the other one, it's going to quantize, but it will ask you, you know, how do you want to quantize? If you want to humanize, it means that it's just going to, you know, let uh, some of them just, you know, offset and, you know, and, and everything else. So if, you're, if you forgot to kind of uh, arm this just like this, you can go and adjust it manually. Right, that, that's fine. Now I want to show you something else. So I'm going to go and just get rid of this one. I don't want to record everything again. I'm just going to go and put it right there. So you have a different way of recording as well, uh, which is the punch in and the punch out. So the punch in and the punch out means that when you go right here, uh, this loop, when you select this section, for example, whenever the, the, the track is playing, automatically this section will arm whatever track and it will start recording. That's why it's punch in, punch out. Here you will start recording and here it will you know, end recording. And for now, I'm just going to disable the loop and just show you how this works. So I'm going to say whenever we go, we start this section, you know, we reach this part, uh, we're going to start recording. And whenever we are, you know, exiting, we are done right here, it's going to stop recording. And I'm going to go and just play the track from the beginning. And notice that we are not really recording and I didn't even need to arm this. So I'm going to do something now. There you go. So notice we didn't need it to stop and, you know, and do uh, and press the, the, uh, the button to record is automatically doing the punch in and the punch out for us whenever we have a section selected. And it doesn't matter how long this section is, it's going to start recording on this and end right here. Now, of course, one other thing that you can do is uh, you can, and let me just delete this, you can en enable the loop. So when the, uh, you know, the track is going to start right here, when it reaches right here, the recording will start. And uh, when it ends, it's going to just loop and loop and loop. So let's do it again. Yeah, well, of course, let me just show you. Maybe I'm going to go and do it from here. I'm going to start playing there and I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. But okay, so now if I wanted, I could do something on top because we are over Dovin as well. So. crappy but so yeah and it's gonna keep looping and looping of course because we have the punch in and you have the loop as soon as you disable the loop it's gonna punch out and keep going and the recording will just stop and that's it that's uh, you know everything you need to know about this it's uh, of course it's it's not that obvious you know when i when i saw the message from the subscriber uh, it was uh, it kind of a, it's obvious to me because I've been just using this for like 30 years, uh, but uh, it's not that obvious. It's not that obvious. And sometimes Bitwig is just a little bit, a uh, little bit weird to decode. So, OK, so that's it. That's how you can overdub and do some recording uh, on the arrangement and on the clip section. And hopefully you find this useful and you like it. Remember, of course, to like and subscribe because if you don't like and you don't subscribe, um, I'm just going to just stop doing videos, right? What's the point? Okay, so see you on the next one.